Hey guys, I'm Matt and welcome back to the channel. Listen, today's video is gonna be very short and sweet. Something just came up that I wanted to talk to you about. So today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about why I think you should be using either handheld water bottles or wearing a pack when you run an ultra marathon. So guys, this came about because I was speaking to my daughter, Michelle. You might have seen her in the Chicago Marathon video and the New York City Marathon video. It came about because we were talking about a 50 mile race that we're doing together uh, sometime in the middle of March. It's the Everglades Ultra. So we are running a 50 mile race throughout the Everglades. And I asked her, was she going to be using handheld water bottles or a pack? She's like, mm, I don't know if I need it, you know, because the race website says that there are water stops every two to six miles. The reason I would recommend either having a handheld water bottle or a pack is because an ultra is, is a long way, right? They don't put that name ultra on the front for nothing. So many of you, you might be trying out your first ultra marathon this year. And it's not like a regular road race, right? It's not like running a marathon where they have water stops every mile. No, there's gonna be several miles in between these water stops. And something that you might wanna think about is how long you're going to be out there. This doesn't apply to everyone. There are some of those people that can just blast a 50 mile race in five and a half hours, you know, and they're fine. They can make it, you know, four, five, six miles in between aid stations, but that's not for everyone. And especially this race being in Florida, it could be getting hot, at least in the middle of the day. If you're stepping up from the half marathon, the marathon, and you wanna try your hand at an ultra marathon, there's something that you have to realize, and that is you may be doing a lot of walking. And you're thinking to yourself, why would I be walking? It's a running race. No, it's an ultra marathon, and it's a completely different kettle of fish. The idea is to get from point A to point B in as quick as in as quick a time as you can manage. And running is not always the best course of action because you have to conserve your energy. If you're gonna be out on the course for eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 hours, you may need to walk in order to stretch out your energy expenditure, right? You've only got like a finite amount of energy and you wanna use it wisely. You don't just wanna, you know, blast out of the gate at a 5K pace when you're actually running 50 miles. Okay, so let me just get right down to it. So let's say you are 50K into a 50 mile race, all right? You're at 30 miles, 31 miles, and you still have 19 or 20 miles to go. You left an aid station, let's say 10 minutes ago, you may have covered a mile in that time, and perhaps you've got another three or four miles until your aid station. Let's say you're on a, a down, you're in a down mood at this time, and you're walking, and you're walking at a 15 minute pace. And let's say you can pick it up again. So you pick it up and you start running for a few minutes, but then you start walking again, all right? This can really happen. This can really happen. And the idea of an ultra marathon is to just get from A to B as quick as you can. So there's nothing wrong with walking. But if you are walking, it's gonna take a lot longer to get from one aid station to the next. And that's why you should carry a handheld water bottle or a pack. I've done a lot of races, a lot of ultra races, and I've used handhelds in some, and I've used packs in others, and I really prefer wearing a pack. They fit so close to the skin, it's almost like wearing a shirt, a really tight shirt. They fit so well, there's really not a lot of bounce in the quality ones, and I'll share with you what I use in just a second. If you just were totally against wearing a pack, a handheld water bottle is fine. You've seen plenty of people, you know, if you watch these guys running Western States, they're running with two water bottles two water bottles in each hand, you know, when they're running along and they'll fill it at the aid station and that gives them enough liquid to quench their thirst, to fuel them through those in-between times, in between the aid stations. Okay, very quickly, these are the handheld bottles that I use. It's Amphipod. I can't believe I'm just actually looking at the name and not realizing that I've never actually said it out loud. Um, Amphipod. So just like Amphibian, Amphipod. This is it. So this is the bottle. I think it's a 16 ounce bottle. It's got a nice elastic hand strap with there's other straps right on the handle for gels. This is my favorite one because this big pocket on the front 
can fit my phone. And I have an iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, but not the big one. And that fits in there just fine. Uh, I don't know if the, if the super big one would fit, but you tell me. If you have this and you have the iPhone 11, the big one, let me know if it fits. All I know is that my phone does fit in here with plenty of room and I can put keys and more gels in this pocket. It's really perfect. I use this water bottle before I got this one, but I still use it sometimes if I'm, if I'm not bringing a phone or anything with me. It has a smaller pocket in the handle. Plenty of room for several gels, probably three or four gels and a key. You know, excellent if, uh, if you're out for a run and you need to keep the car key with you, but you can't keep it in a pocket because you're sweating so much. Listen, this doesn't happen in other, other areas of the country, but in Florida, that is something you really have to worry about. If you have an electronic key, you can fry it from sweat. Finally, my pack. All right, let me see. Let me just widen that out a little. I have tried several packs and I have settled on, this is the Solomon uh, 12 Advanced Skin 12 set. So it's a 12 liter pack. And listen, this is very expensive. All right, um, my affiliate links are below for the bottles and this. And you can find cheaper packs than this Solomon. But the reason I recommend this is because it fits so well. It really fits like a glove and you won't, it's, it's made so well, the materials, the stitching. I've had this one for four years, three years, and there is no sign of wear or tear. And I wash it after every run because it gets, it gets soaked with sweat and it would get really stinky if I didn't. It does have a one and a half liter bladder in the back. But um, yeah, listen, you can Google this just as well as, as anyone and see some videos, video reviews. But this is a fabulous pack. All right, guys, I'm sorry I've taken up so much of your time, but I hope you got some value of this. If you are thinking about doing an ultra marathon this year, I highly recommend you consider using handheld water bottles or a running pack. I'm telling you, if you haven't run with a running pack, it will change your life. You can carry so much junk in here. All right, guys, be kind, be happy, run well, and I'll see you next time.